Hello and welcome to the Windows Active Directory Expert. If you're new to this channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe the channel, like the videos, and share the videos link with someone who really wants to scale up in the Active Directory. In the previous uh, session, we discussed about the NTDS.dit, which is the Active Directory database file. And we discussed about the partitions as well. Like we discussed about the configuration partitions, application partition, domain partition, schema partition, and global catalog. And I showed you the steps as well using which you can uh, check these partitions. Okay. So, uh, so in this session, right? In this session, I'm going to uh, I'm going to demonstrate you like how you can modify the well-known sets. All right. So when uh, you promote any Active Directory, when you when you create when you promote any Active Directory in the environment, right? so by default there are few containers created right you can see here in my screen built-in group computers and then you have managed service account lost and found folder program data system ntds quotas tpm devices and users so if you have ever joined the machine to the domain controller to the domain then you must know like by default you, if you join any domain, any machine in the domain controller, when I'm saying domain controller means when you join the machine to the domain, suppose in our case, it's contoso.com. So if I go here in this machine, client machine, which is Windows client machine, having Windows 10, if I join this machine to the contoso.com, so that machine by default will be created under the computer container and same goes for the users as well so if you create the users via the powershell or the cmd command prompt so it will be by default created under the user containers okay so for computer containers when you join any machine to the domain it will by default created under the computer container and for users, if you create any users using the PowerShell or command prompt, it will be by default created under the user com container. So what we are going to do is today that uh, we are going to change the well-known sets. So these are uh, these these containers, right? Having the well-known sets, and that is why they are by default location for the computer container. I mean for the computer domain join and for the users uh, 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 for user creation so what we are going to do is you can you can think of a scenario okay let's think of a scenario where your organization having one antivirus file which is deployed via the group policy which is deployed from the group policy and the company requirement is that as soon as the machine is joined to the domain controller this particular package has to be installed or has to be applied to that particular machine as you know that since computer container we can't link any group policy so let me rephrase it in any containers in any container of the active directory we won't be able to link any group policy okay and that is why either we change the well-known sets means we modify the well-known sets and and you know i would say that there is no other option available available uh, unless you go ahead and change the uh, well-known sets so how you can change that so currently my machine whatever the machine i joined to the domain controller is currently create you know created under this computer container what but what i'm going to do is since i told you the complete scenario my organization want me to uh, redirect this particular job right whatever the machines are getting created under the computer container they wants me to change the default location to some other ou so in this case i'm going to create one ou so if i'll right click under the over the contoso.com i click on the new and i click organization unit 
so suppose i mention here ops ops machines okay so i created ops machine i clicked okay so now now you can see my ou ops machine is created so now what you have to do is what we have to do is we have to redirect the well known sets okay so for well known sets we have read user for user and read cmd for the computers and uh, let's open the powershell if you have lab then you can perform the lab simultaneously okay at your end as well so if i click cd slash cd no so it's not taking input from my keyboard so let me do one thing let me open the command prompt in this case so you can execute this command from the group policy and the power uh, sorry from the command prompt or from the powershell as well so if i click here cd cls to clear the command prompts commands and now we have to type red it's red read all cmd and then this two bracket now you need to paste the distinguished name of this particular ou distinguished name okay so go to the attribute if i go to the attribute and i copy the distinguished name from here you can see here i copied it okay and i paste it over here without any space so let me remove the space and if i go here and just close the just close it okay and then now let's hit enter so there is something wrong with our command so it's it's read r c m p okay perfect so now you can see my command has been executed successfully so better you take the screenshot as well so that later as and when you get some time you can apply this in your lab and test it out so take this screenshot so now you can see r e d i r c m p and then you have to put the code and then distinguished the name of the particular ou where wherever you wanted to redirect the particular job like for the computer domain join and then close the code and then hit enter so you can see here redirection was successfully now let's do one thing let's check uh, does this really works so let's do one thing i got one client machine let me log in from the local admin of the this particular machine and let's join this machine to the domain controller so you guys have to wait for some time and guys do you know like how you can identify whether this is the container or ou so you can see here the container does not have any small folder in between this folder right but if you can see for ou there is a small folder right let's take an example for it ou so there is a small button or i would say a folder be between this this folder right and this is the sign of uh, the ou for container we don't have such such symbol in between the folder so my machine is logged in so let's wait for uh, every program to execute it and then we'll probably go to the machine properties and we'll try to join this machine to the domain controller so hold on hold on it seems that still opening okay if i click on the start button okay and then type this
so I don't know why it is very you know it's it's very slow because I had uh, located only one GB RAM I think that is why okay so if I click on the this PC if I right click on this PC okay and uh, let's wait for that machine okay if I right click over here go to properties let's wait for properties screen to pop up okay okay so usually right if you have uh, located 1 GB or uh, less uh, I mean 1 GB or 1 2 GB for one, uh, you know Windows 10 machine so usually you will find find that uh, that machine will be very slow okay so let's let's give it another uh, 5 to 10 second more and then hopefully we'll get the screen to join the machine to the domain controller so uh, yes so whatever I'm performing right now guys just take a screenshot and it will be for easier to you to perform this later in your lab so if I click on the chain setting okay I clicked on the chain settings and now you can see the another screen is appeared if I click on the change and here right right now you can see that my machine is under the work group if I click here and you can check the machine name as well if I click here and type the contoso.com and then I click OK so it will ask me for the credential domain credential so let me type the domain administrator account over here to join this particular machine to the domain controller so I enter the credential and hit enter now it will take couple of seconds to join with the domain controller so let's wait for that and once we'll get the screen that this particular machine is successfully joined with the domain controller uh, with the domain then uh, uh, once you click on OK it will ask you to restart the machine so that it, it in the back end right it will contact to the domain controller and get the account created for the uh, for this particular machine in the domain controller OU and now we are expecting that since we changed our well-known seed right we redirected well-known seed to the ops machines so it has to be created over here in this particular OU so let's see the magic together so now you can see that well I, I successfully joined with the domain welcome to the controls.com I clicked OK and uh, I clicked on OK so now it should uh, pop up me to restart the machine okay so if I click on OK close then let's restart this particular machine right and parallelly go to the domain controller let's right click and refresh it oh you can see the magic right the computer object is now created in this ops machines OU not in the computer OU right not in the computer uh, computers container but that is created under the ops, ops machine because we redirected the well-known sets we modified the well-known set so by default computer container is for every machine when you join the domain controller uh, when when you join when you join machine to your domain but you can change it on demand if if company having some group policy because the disadvantage of the computer container is that you won't be able to link any group policy and if you wanted to apply some policy as soon as the machine is get gets created in the OU I mean in the domain controller then you have to redirect this particular uh, uh, you know via the uh, red RCMP command thank you very much and uh, that's all uh, for the today's session and in the further session I will be starting the recording session for the replication and the DC locator process so DC locator process and Kerberos encryption type 
Kerberos, how how Kerberos authentication works, and how we can analyze do the analysis via the network monitor tool. I will be covering that step by step in upcoming sessions. So thank you very much, guys, for coming to this channel. If you uh, did not, if you if you haven't uh, subscribed my channel at kindly go ahead and subscribe it, and uh, uh, hopefully like maybe tomorrow i will i will recording uh, i will record the session for the replication thank you very much guys once again and uh, have a great weekend ahead thank you very much